Okay, artists, we're going to make a fish out of one piece of cardboard. So this idea, which I've used for many years, is one of the projects in my book, Art Shaped. And it's one of the simpler ones. So hopefully you'll have fun with this one. So I'm going to make my piece of cardboard turn into a fish. You can use any sized piece of card you like. So this could be an enormous fish. It could be much smaller, could be a different thickness to change the shape of it. I'm just going to use this piece here. So what I'm going to do, the only bit of drawing you need to do for this is the very first part, which is to draw the shape of a fish's body as big as you can on that piece of cardboard. So I'm going to do that right now. So if I'm doing this with little children, I tell them to draw a hill that goes from one side of the cardboard to the other and then turn it around and do the same so you end up with that kind of shape. And then we're going to cut it out and we're going to keep all of the pieces that we cut. So I'm going to go round the one hill, round the other hill and I'm going to keep both of those pieces because we're going to use them. So that's my little rule. When I make things like this, I do something that I call pure making, which means we're not going to throw anything away. We're going to keep all of the pieces and we're going to use all of them. OK, so we've got these four corners. I'm going to cut them so that there's four separate pieces. And you can probably guess these are going to become the fins on the fish. Now, before we even stick the fins on, we're going to make the body of the fish become three dimensional. So here's a very, very simple trick to do that. I'm going to put a couple of random slits just in the sides of the fish shape and I'm going to grab some tape. I'm going to pull these slits together slightly so they slide together. So not too much, just a little bit. And whenever you do that, the shape that you're building will start to pop out a little bit like that so you can see how that's becoming a little bit more three-dimensional okay and then I'm going to have a look at these four shapes that I cut off I'm going to choose one and I'm going to turn that into the tail so the tail of a fish always points towards the head in the direction that it's swimming so I'm going to put it on that way you'll know because if you put it on the wrong way it looks a bit strange so I'll pop that on overlap it slightly grab another bit of tape and we'll stick that on now we don't want it to fall off so I'm going to put tape around both sides, so tucking it around the back as well. OK, so then we've got three shapes left. So let's take the next one. Where's this one going to go? Maybe it could go at the top. So a fin at the top like that. You could put it inside or outside. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to place it there. And again, I'm going to stick my tape on. When you make something like this, if you want it to be stronger, then if you hang the tape over the edge, and tuck it round, then it means that that shape's not going to fall off. So it's a little bit easier and a bit stronger. OK, I've got two shapes left. We better have a fin at the bottom as well. Let's make that one slightly smaller. So I'm going to turn it round that way. Have a little play with it. See how it fits best. That looks good. So I'm going to stick that on. One, two, like that. There it is. OK, and then I've just got one more fin left. And this can be the one that goes on the side here, okay? Now, because you're not allowed to throw anything away, if you have to modify anything, then you've got to use the pieces you cut off. So I think this is a little bit big. So I'm gonna take a little section of it off, like that, chop, and this little piece I've taken off, I'm gonna find somewhere else for that to go. So this little fin at the side, I'm gonna attach on. And this is quite a clever one because you can make it kind of pop out a little bit like that. Here's my extra piece. So where's that going to go? Maybe I could put it at the top like this. Maybe I could put it as another part of the tail. I'm going to do that. I think we'll choose the bit at the top just so it makes that fin a little bit more unusual there. There we go. Right. OK, there's our fish shape. We've got no rubbish, we've got nothing left over. So I'm going to make a mouth and an eye, but I'm going to use the actual pieces of the fish itself. So another simple bit of drawing, if I want to make a mouth, if I pinch where the mouth's going to go, and I'm going to draw around my finger like that, that's nice and easy. So when I take my finger away, there's a little kind of semicircle shape. I'll chop that semicircle shape out. 
like that. And then if I grab the little piece I've taken out that looks like a little door, I'm going to put a slit straight the way down that end of it and I'm going to pull it into a little eye shape. So just like a little cone. So I'll just grab a bit of tape, stick that on. Just make sure it's not going to come apart. So I've put a bit of tape on just to hold it in place. So you can see it's just like a little cone. And then we'll find a space for that eye to go and stick it on. Okay, there we are. I'm just rubbing that tape down so that you can see the shape of the eye. You could get a pencil and just zip around the outside of it. Sometimes I scribble the tape down and that helps it to stick and also makes the eye pop out. Right, there's our fish. Okay, so you can do anything you like with that. You could colour it in, you could draw patterns on it, you could paper mache over it, you could paint it in all sorts of different paints, you could stick some collage materials on it, you could put a hole in it and hang it up. So there we go. Enjoy. So here's my finished fish. If you enjoyed that, have a try yourself. If you like doing projects like this and you like doing creative work with children, have a look on my website, darrellwakelum.com, where you'll find lots and lots of other ideas. Or you can buy my book, which is called Art Shaped and is available through all good booksellers.